Hi guys, this is Bill with Media Unlocked, and I just want to tell you a little story about this Think Tank 50 liter duffel. Think Tank sent it to us for an evaluation, and you know, we kind of liked it. The first time I used it was when David and I went down to the Great Smoky Mountain National Park a couple of weeks ago. And if you haven't seen that video yet, by the way, there it is right there. So we went down and I wanted to try and see how well this, this thing worked out. I wanted to give it a good run for its money. See what it could do, see how tough it was, and see how good I thought it would stand up. Well, I loaded everything that I needed into it for just a standard photographic trip. We went down for four days and we moved around. We had all kinds of fun down there. We got a few great shots. We got a lot of really good shots. David got to play with astrophotography, even though my, pi my picture was better than his. Trust me on this. Trust me. But I want to talk about the duffel. So I'm going to show you how I loaded it, how I packed it, what we did. So this is what I carried at the Smokies when we went down there for the R5. And, you know, it performed like a charm. The canvas that this is built from is not just functional and strong, it's gorgeous. Look at the leather trim that we've got on the handle, on the bag itself. We've got handles everywhere on this bag so that you can just literally just pick it up and carry it from all four sides. Now, what have I got in here? This is simple. One exterior pocket, nice big one. This is where I carry a couple of things in here. This is my pouch, it's got some cables in it, which is really cool because David laughed at me because he needed an audio cable and was going to run out in the middle of the night and try to buy one somewhere when there's nothing open. And I just said, look at my bag. There it is. But I also keep in here, for example, my, uh, my passport and my COVID vaccination ID, just in case I need them when I travel. Um, little pouches like this, by the way, come in really handy. You can get this. This is nothing more than a uh, makeup pouch that I bought at Target for like $4. So how much can you really put into this? It's a 50 liter duffel, and when I got it, my first thought was, it looks a little bit small. Well, this is what I carried when I came into the Smokies. Got a organizational pouch here with my speaker, because I gotta have my music. Got phone charger, things like that in there. It's kind of the electronic pouch. Got, uh, well, those are my unmentionables, so we're not gonna mention this. Uh, it's cold up in the mountains. Oh no, this is my t-shirts. So that when I run around, I can have my Official t-shirts. There was a great restaurant down there called Huckleberry Finn's. Got a new t-shirt when I was there. Try them for the catfish. It's really good. Um, cold in the mountains. I got some fleece because, well, we sat there all night shooting stars and, you know, 40 degrees gets chilly after a couple of hours. Um, my socks because, well, you get dressed in the dark. All of my socks are black. I only have black socks. So I have a bag just of socks and it's a weird shape. So I know where my socks are. Toiletry kit so that David doesn't have to look at me unshaven because he likes me better when I shave. And that's everything that I needed for an entire trip to the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. It was really cool. Um, had everything I carried. I actually was so impressed with it. I'm going to be using this when I head off to all of my trips from here on out. That is, if I can keep David's little dirty paws off of it. I'm going to put this back together now because there is one question. You know, Think Tank, um, they always send along one accessory when you get a bag of theirs. They always send along raincoats, right? You get a raincoat for every bag. This one didn't come with a raincoat. So I'm going to repack this and we're going to see how well it weathers the rain. What do you think of that, David? Are you gonna go out and get wet for me, or? Well, we might see, you know, you never know. Okay. It's also got a pretty cool looking side pocket there, too. It does, it does. Let me uh, get all of this back in. Like I said, this was everything that you needed for three days. Now, by the way, I love these packing pods. Um, you can get them from Tank Tank. They make a whole variety of sizes. Uh, I got this batch from Amazon. I'm a member of a National Parks Association that sent them out as a membership gift one year. So these things are great because you can pack different things in them. You're organized and you see how quickly it takes to pack. So tell you what, let's get this wet and see what happens.
Let's go.